Like, if it rescued a feral cat, could I domesticate it via its diet in part? Obviously, with other bits of socialization yeah. as well, but is that part of it? It's a really, really interesting question. And there are several reasons why. Firstly, the, the kind of dogma is that your microbiome is very much conditioned by the earliest part of your life, right? And whatever microbes yeah. you're initially exposed to kind of set the development of the community down a pathway. And if I can give you a very simple analogy, if you have a, a garden and you rip up all the plants, what grows there eventually kind of depends on what seeds you throw down first, right? So the idea is that the very early exposures to the microbes pushes them down a community development, which you can change by changing the diet, but it's still constrained within a window. It doesn't mean it's impossible, and it may simply be that it's just harder to change it later. If you, for example, have a, uh, a feral cat, it's a two years old, it's behaviorally quite whatever, fearful of humans. It is quite possible that if you spent enough time on it and gave it enough microbes or diet to kind of change it slowly, there would be these changes happening that would affect the behavior. What we don't know is how far it will go and if it would be much, much faster, if it was, for example, a cat which had been born in a in a household and then become stray and its microbes were changed, but then you're pushing it back because they, they kind of didn't fully, fully change or so on. 